this video we're going to learn how to create a new project on Vivaro. So the first thing we're going to do is open the program itself. I'm using version 2019.1 but this will work with the most recent version as well. And once you open it, this is the starting page. So you have a quick start, some quick start links here, some other stuff that you can do down there. You get a list of your recent projects on the right. And in order to create a new project, we can use the quick start link or we can go to file project and new so it's the same either way so i'm just going to click here and this will open up the new project wizard we will which will guide us uh, to create a new project so the first thing we need to do is give our project the name so i'm just going uh, i'm just going to call it project demo now we specify what kind of project it is in this case we're going to be using our rtl project RTL means registers transfer logic. Now uh, we uh, we can add any kind of source that we want here. We can add uh, directories if we have folders that contain our designs and test files, or we can create a project from scratch, which we'll be doing in this video. Now the most important part in this window is actually here at the bottom, where you select the target language. In this case, we're going to be using BHDL. You have two options here. We're going to be using BHDL and the simulator language. We're going to use BHDL or mixed. Then, since we don't have any files right now, I'm going to create a file just for demonstration purposes. So I'm going to click Create File, and as you can see, it comes up with the type of the language that we just selected down here in the bottom. And we're just going to give it a name. And I'm just going to give that the same name as before. It's going to be called demo. Now it's on the, the our sources list. Now we can go next. And now we can add a constraint file. A constraint file is just a file that, that is a configuration file for the board that we are using and the board that we are going to program. So in this case, we can add one if we have it, but it's not necessary for the simulation. So we're not going to add it right now. So we can just going to click next. Now we have to select the board that we are going to use. Now this is not important for the simulation, but in this case I am going to select the board that I'm using, which is this one right here. So I'm going to click next. And now we are at the last step. This is a very brief summary of what we just created. A new project with this name, one source file added, no constraints file. Notice that it gives me a warning, but it's not an error. Uh, and then we'll, we get here, the, the we can check the right board. Now this is important because if we select the wrong board, we might our simulation might be correct, but our implementation will not run. Now if we click finish, it will go through a little bit of a process to create our directories and all the files, and then we will be at the starting uh, at the starting phase of our project. All right, and since we created a file at the beginning, now there is a new wizard, second wizard, which is going to help us populate our design file. And this is just to facilitate our uh, the declaration of the entity. And this is pretty nice that the Silings people do this, because you can, uh, every time that you're starting a file from scratch, then you can just enter the information here about the inputs and outputs. So in this case, I'm going to do, uh, in this, uh, just for continuity, I'm going to use the same as we were using for the majority bit, which I think it was M bits. And I'm going to click that as an input. I'm gonna call it a bus because there's more than one bit in it. And then I'm going to say here, it's two bits to one. So what does this mean? Well, let's put, our output it's our majority bit if I believe that's what it was called and our majority bit with a name like that yes yeah, so m bits majority bit oh oh my god it's, okay majority I'm just gonna leave it as majority and that one is just uh, that one is just an input uh, output sorry so what do we have here? 
M bits, it's an input, that's the direction. Notice that we can select between input, output, and in output. Now bus means that this is an array of bits. And MSB and LSB, these are the less significant bit and the most significant bit. So here we can actually designate which one, it, basically we are designating the indexing of our most significant bit and least significant bit. So we could actually do this the opposite way. We could go zero here and two here, and that would be the exact same thing. But now we have our bits have been flipped in value. So I'm just gonna leave it as it was, although this is not a working project, it could be anything. We're just gonna click okay. And that proceeds to create the file that we declared at the beginning called demo. And that file should appear here. This a little bit bigger. Okay, so this is our sources directory, and this is very important. Now, when we are using the sources in our project, there's three places that we can use or that we can place our files, and we have to keep track of them. So we have to tell it manually which are our design files, which are our simulation sources, and which are our constraints. So we will look that into detail later. On our left here, we have the project manager, uh, sorry, not the project manager, the flow navigator, and the project manager is the first step of the flow navigator. And the flow navigator is just uh, basically a tool that helps us through our design process of our, of our project. So we started the project manager where we have our tool for creating design files or for creating design, uh, files of any type, any kind of source. Uh, we got some templates, some other tools here. We got the IP generator for block designs. We can create simulations. And notice that each one of these is the block, so I'm gonna close them all just so you can see. Overall, these are the steps of our flow, or these are the steps every time that we create a project, we have to go through all of these steps in order to, to implement our, our project. So we first simulate it, we do a, a RTL analysis, then we synthesize that, uh, that design, we implement it for our specific board, and then we generate a bitstream which is a file that programs the FPGA itself. If we click on flow and then we go into settings, we can see our project settings and we can explore all of these categories or we're just gonna focus on the first one here, general, because here we can see the settings that we, that we specified at the creation of our project which is the type of board, the language, and some other options. For example, under simulation, we got the simulator language, our top level entities, and other stuff. So we can see all the settings here, the most important ones. If you made a mistake selecting your board, or if you made a mistake selecting the target language, you can just come here to the project settings and apply those. So remember, it's under flow settings, and then you can click on any of them and you will see the project settings.